Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Scott and this is another My Bourbon Journey review. So if you're already a subscriber, thank you so much. I greatly appreciate all of your support. If you're new to this channel and you're looking for reviews of different whiskeys, uh, such as bourbons, rye, uh, American style whiskeys, uh, maybe a single malt on occasion, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also make sure you hit the bell notification. That's going to alert you to when I'm doing new uploads and live streams. So today I'm doing a review of two products. Uh, so from left to right, uh, this is going to be from uh, Mammoth Distilling uh, out of Central Lake, Michigan. So uh, what I'll try to do first is we'll go through their, uh, their bourbon and then we'll follow up with the rye uh, just because, you know, as many people know, rye can be fairly, you know, dominant and I didn't want that to affect the overall flavor profile of the bourbon. So we'll start out there. So a little bit of information first. So this is a, um, a source product um, out of the state of Tennessee. Uh, what this is, is this is a six barrel blend of 40 barrels of 10 year Tennessee bourbon. So basically what that is, is that's brought back to their uh, distillery where they then bottle it at, at that facility. So it is a sourced um, uh, bourbon from Tennessee. Uh, 10 years old uh, at that, it is an age stated um, product. So a um, little bit of information on this. So this is going to be um, their basically their their base uh, or stock uh, rye whiskey that they're producing and bottling uh, at their facility again in Central Lake, um, Michigan. So what I'll do is we'll start with the bourbon first. I'll go through some additional information there, and then we'll kind of go from uh, to the rye and kind of just go in that in that order. And I'll give you a little bit more information on that. So um, this is again their uh, ten year age stated uh, sourced Tennessee bourbon, again from a six barrel blend of um, Tennessee bourbon. This is a uh, proof wise is one hundred and one point six or 50.8% uh, ABV, again, aged uh, a minimum of 10 years. So with it being age stated 10 years, that has to be the minimum age that um, the whiskey is that's in there. So there can be older, um, but again, if it's 10 year age stated, that has to be the minimum age. MSRP on this right around $69. Uh, may vary a little bit based on where you are in the, in the country. Um, Again, mash bill on this, undisclosed, wasn't able to, at the time of the recording, wasn't able to uh, get that. But um, yeah, so why don't we, uh, so like what I try to do with uh, really all of my reviews is we'll go through the appearance, we'll go through the nose, the taste, you know, what it is on the palate, and then kind of the finish and, and kind of go from there. So uh, we'll start there and then we'll work our way to the, to the rye next, so. All right, so as you can see, you know, a really nice kind of, you know, lightish kind of copper. Um, I shouldn't say really light. I mean, it's, it's a really nice, uh, you know, nice color to that. So, all right, let's get into the nose and see what we've got. So the, my first impression is a, a really nice kind of sweet corn uh, type of nose. Definitely some oak there. Not not overly oaked uh, by any means, but it's letting you know there there is a little bit of age to it uh, with the oak presence. Definitely that that caramel is there uh, that you're getting with a a bourbon that's got a little bit more age to it. Um, and there's also. Also a bit of a, a like a kind of a light honey type of, of note to that. Um, really nice and, and that's part of probably the sweet corn, a little bit of honey, that sweetness is, is really wanting to kind of come through. Uh, still with um, a bit of a, a dark fruit type of presence to it as well. Um, so it's kind of an, an interesting nose from the standpoint of you're not, you're not always getting a lot of the honey and the caramel and then, you know, kind of mixing in some of the, the dark fruits. Uh, it's a fairly sweet 
um, nose. A um, little bit of cinnamon kind of there. Not a lot of, um, you know, heat on the nose. And, and just over uh, 101 proof, you'd expect to get a little bit of something, but it's really kind of uh, muted. You're not getting a lot of, you know, ethanol at, at all. So, all right, let's give this a, uh, a try. Cheers. All right, so what I'd like to try to do typically is rather than trying to judge off of that first sip, you want to keep maybe take another, you know, a second or third sip just to kind of allow the, the palate or the mouth to kind of, you know, warm up or get prepared, kind of coat the palate rather than try to judge off of that first uh, sip. Because a lot of times when you're into some of the higher proof bourbons, it can kind of shock your system and, and, you know, throw you a little bit out of whack. So allow the palate to kind of get coated, prepare your mouth a little bit more for kind of, you know, what you're, what you're going to be tasting. So let's give this another try. Yeah, so it's letting you know there's some proof. 101, there's a little bit of heat to it. There's the oak. There's the cinnamon. Still those caramel flavors are there. Little little heavier now on the, on the cinnamon side of things. Dark fruits are, are definitely there. That oak presence is there. Little bit of honey um, there as well. So the, the nose and the palate, fairly consistent for the most part. So it's something that doesn't always happen where you get a lot of the same notes, but I am on, on this one where I'm getting a lot of the, the oak and the honey. The dark fruit is kind of coming through. The caramel, maybe even a little bit more a little more of the, the vanilla kind of wanting to come through on that. It, it really coats the mouth um, really nicely. Finish wise, I'd say as, as it's kind of, you know, developing, probably on the medium side, a, a bit on the dry side, kind of finishing with um, a little bit more of those uh, like leathery type of, of notes. The dryness is kind of starting to come through a little bit more. Yeah. So, I mean, really, really nice. I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a well-balanced um, bourbon from the standpoint of the nose and the palate kind of matching. You really are experiencing a lot of what it has to offer from the standpoint of it just being a consistent um, bourbon. So yeah, really, really nice. Um, you know, easy drinking, you know, uh, bourbon, um, you know, don't get fooled that the, the 101 or the 101 proof, there is a little bit of heat, you know, initially that kind of goes away fairly quickly, or it did go away fairly quickly. And then just kind of leaves you with a, a lot of those really nice standard, um, you know, bourbon notes that you would expect to, to have. So yeah, really nice, nice bourbon, but I would say probably finish wise on the medium side, Again, finishing with a little bit of that, that dark fruit and leathery, leathery type of, of note. So, all right, so let's go. Um, we're going to move on to the, their rye whiskey. And before I do that, let me just kind of cleanse the palate here a little bit. And then we can kind of, uh, we can get into the, into the rye whiskey. So, so this is going to be their um, 92 proof um, hand hewed um, rye whiskey. Again, 92 proof, non age stated. Uh, MSRP on this is right around that $58 uh, price point in terms of what I was able to um, uh, find out. So mash bill again undisclosed on on this, but this is their own uh, their own product. This is not sourced uh, like the bourbon. So. All right, let's get into the um, 
the appearance here. So this is a little bit lighter, kind of a lighter type of honey uh, color, light bronze type of, of color to that. So, all right, let's see what we got on the nose here. Huh. All right, so right away, um, you know, and again, without knowing the mash bill, it's, it's, it's hard sometimes with, with rise and knowing kind of what you're, you're getting into, but right away you do get a, a you know, hit with a nice amount uh, of that rye spice. There's kind of a, a green apple type of, of note to that. Um, kind of a, a little bit of a, a sweet cream type of, of note. Um, a little bit of a, a grassy note, uh, maybe just from it being, um, you know, a little bit on the younger side, I believe in the two to three year range is, is what this was. Uh, still a little bit of, a little bit of, uh, cinnamon, a little bit of mint. I'm not getting as, as much of a, a hit, uh, mint wise as I do with a lot of rye's. uh, still fairly sweet. That green apple is kind of wanting to come through. A little bit of vanilla there as well. So yeah, really nice kind of interesting, interesting nose. So let's give this a try. Cheers. Yeah, so again, very similar to the bourbon, the, the, the nose and the palate are kind of matching a little bit here. My first thought is that nice rye spice, kind of a nice sweet uh, rye spice is kind of coming through, followed by a little bit more of that, a that, um, little bit of a honey note there as well. Definitely some more of the green apple kind of wanting to come through. Even a bit of a, a vanilla note um, to that as well. Definitely the cinnamon really kind of wanting to start to, to come through a little bit now. At only 92 proof, you know, not a lot of heat. A little bit of something there, kind of just let you know there's a little bit of proof to it. Um, Again, a little bit uh, dry, similar similar to the uh, the bourbon as before. So it, yeah, I mean, as this finish is starting to kind of develop, you know, probably a little bit more on the on the medium side as well. A little bit of that kind of tobacco or leather type of note to it as well. A lot really kind of going on with with this ride. This is fairly. Um, complex for it being a little bit on the younger side there's a lot of different kind of flavors that are coming out of this it's not so just rye dominant uh, that a lot of them can be you know a lot of the rye you're picking up a lot of the um you either like a dill or a mint and i'm getting very little of that no no real dill at all maybe a slight bit of of mint to it but not you know, overly minty by, by any means. Um, for me, this kind of drinks a little bit more along the lines of a, a higher rye um, bourbon than it does if it was just a, uh, a standard rye whiskey. So yeah, I, I wish I kind of knew the, the mash bill. And, and if I do find it, I will have that linked uh, below just so that you can go back and check out the notes and, and see exactly what that is. So, but yeah, really, really nice um, you know, well-balanced kind of rye whiskey, again, with a lot of the, the really nice different layers that are, are coming out in that. Yeah, again, just a really nice um, mouthfeel to it, coats the, the glass really well, you know, really nice, nice legs that are, that are on there. Yeah, really, really nice uh, rye whiskey. So I think they've done a, a really nice job with, with you know, both of these in, in very different ways. You know, again, this being a uh, Tennessee sourced 10-year uh, bourbon, this being their own distillate, 
and produced in-house. So, um, you know, great job by, by them. So, uh, again, this is Mammoth Distilling um, out of Central Lake, Michigan. So, uh, with that being said, so I'll, uh, in the, uh, the, the description below, I'll have some links to a few of the different things that are uh, up here, including the distillery. Um, they were nice enough to, Lord's Rocks were nice enough to send uh, this to me. I'll be doing a separate review of this uh, before too much longer. And then that was just a, um, a lamp that I received uh, from the distillery um, that was, uh, that I had ordered. So um, anyway, so, you know, check those out. I'll have all that stuff linked in the description below. So as I say, it's about the journey and not the destination. Cheers.